believe we have made it to our last week of school and it is almost summer vacation. Woo! I don't know about you, but I am so ready for some summer fun and some summer reading. I love reading books in the summer. It's a great time to get a lot of reading done. This week I'm going to be reading you books that make us think about summertime. This book is called A Couple of Boys Have the Best Week Ever. And it's about a couple of friends who get to go on a kind of a fun summer camp. It's written by Marla Frazee. And she's the illustrator too. Marla Frazee did it all. Let's see what happens when a couple of boys have the best week ever. One hot summer day, James went on a long drive to Bill and Pam's house so that he could go to a week of nature camp with his friend Eamon. Bill and Pam are Eamon's grandparents and they live at the beach. Eamon was already there. Nature camp was Bill's idea. Bill loved nature, especially cold, wild, and remote places with hardly any people. He had been to many of these sorts of places before, but the place that he most wanted to visit was Antarctica because of the penguins. Pam said that she preferred people over penguins. Eamon thought that this chat was fascinating, but he hoped that James would arrive soon. Ding dong! And finally, James did. Eh, with just a couple of his belongings. Whoa! He had never been away from home for an entire week. So he was very sad when his mother drove away. Bye! <laughs> Pretty sad. <laughs> the first thing Bill wanted to do before nature camp started was to take James and Eamon to the penguin exhibit at the Natural History Museum. Pam offered to pack a picnic of peanut butter and honey sandwiches. James and Eamon discussed their options. Do you want to go? No. <laughs> they decided to stay home and enjoy Bill and Pam's company. Uh, there they are running away. Hmm, I don't know about these guys. In the morning, though, Bill took the boys to nature camp. The road was long and curvy. James and Eamon learned a lot of new vocabulary words while Bill drove. Whoa! On the way back that afternoon, James and Eamon described their first nature camp day to Bill. I thought you were supposed to walk on a hike. Yeah, not stand and look at some flower for a whole hour. Oh, I don't know if they liked it. When they got home, Bill unrolled a large map of Antarctica on the living room floor. And Pam gave James and Eamon coffee ice cream icebergs with hard chocolate sauce on top. Whoa! Nature camp made the boys very hungry. And it made them look at everything more carefully. Hmm. <laughs> Bill brought tide charts and a globe to the dinner table, and Pam served banana waffles with maple syrup. The food is way better here than at my house. Mine too. At night, James and Eamon slept on a blow-up mattress with an automatic pump. Bill and Pam wondered if they would be lonely in the downstairs bedroom. I'm guessing they won't be. <laughs> yep, they were definitely not lonely. <laughs> they lined the air mattress with all of their friends. Fun. Before they left for nature camp the next morning, Bill handed them each a pair of binoculars and a list of birds to look for. On the way home, the boys reported their findings. His freckles are huge. Yeah, and his tongue is gross. Hmm, I don't think they saw many birds, do you? As the nature camp week went by, James and Eamon practically became one person. 
They did everything together in exactly the same way. To save time, Bill began calling them Jamin. He would say, hey, Jamin, think about whether or not you want to see that penguin exhibit. Wow, these boys are really good friends, right? I think they might be more into each other than about learning about penguins or nature. Jamin would think about seeing that penguin exhibit, but then in complete agreement, the campers would decide to practice quiet meditation downstairs, eat more banana waffles, and enjoy the beach together. <laughs> Want to go outside? Nope. Huh. Nature camp was just so great. Uh, I don't think they're getting a lot of experience with nature. I'm starting to wonder about this book. And then on Friday afternoon, nature camp was over. James and Eamon recapped the week during the drive home. I think it should be called sit around camp. Yeah, or sweat a lot camp. On their last night together, Bill, Pam, James, and Eamon had a popcorn party. James and Eamon soon discovered that a party with Bill and Pam could get pretty noisy. See, they fell asleep. So they wandered outside for some peace and quiet. Tomorrow, they had to go home. They looked up at the sky and out at the ocean. For the first time all week, they couldn't think of anything to do. The sun went down, the stars came out. Then at last, James and Eamon finally got real busy with something. Hmm. And it turned out to be the very best part of the best week ever. So they're doing something. They've got rocks. They're working under the starlight. What are they doing? They are outside, right? <gasps> oh. In the morning, James and Eamon could not wait to show Bill and Pam what they had made. It's Antarctica! The white rocks are icebergs, and the brown rocks are whales. Oh, whales. And this big stick, this one here, is a big stick. Oh, and the penguin there is Jamin. And he hopes that he can be a nature camper again soon. Bill gave the boys a big hug. He said that this was how penguins huddled together to keep warm. Pam said that she preferred people hugs over penguin huddles. James and Eamon hugged Bill and Pam back. And when their moms finally arrived to take them home, James and Eamon gave each other the secret Jamin handshake. Oh yeah, they made a handshake. And then they walked like a couple of penguins all the way out the front door. The end. So I don't know if the little boys learned much about nature at their nature camp, but they certainly had a good week, right? A good week together as friends, playing video games, sleeping in the basement on an air mattress. But I thought it was pretty cool that in the end, they spent a little time outside in nature and they used their imaginations and they created a little Antarctica scene, kind of to say thank you to Bill for having them. And maybe to let Bill know that even though Bill really wanted to teach them about penguins and it seemed like they weren't listening, they were paying attention a little bit. <laughs> Fun story. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And maybe spend some time out in nature. Bye.